Okay, we are going to take this cube of floral foam and turn it into a house. Let's check out the steps on how to get this done. Here we go. Now we're gonna be using this cube as a base for our paper mache architecture. What I'm doing is scrunching down some newspaper. Uh, you might have other trash or recycled items that you could put in here, but I'm scrunching it down and molding it as I go to make a shape that looks like a roof. Now what you'll notice throughout this part of the video is that I am going to be taping, taping, and taping. The reason we tape is so that the paper mache does not seep into that newspaper and turn it into a gloppy mess. So you will continue to tape and mold and tape and mold until you get the shapes that you like. Now is a great time to consider having things like a chimney or what roof shape you will have. The possibilities are endless. Okay, so now you have something that might look a little more house shaped. And now our job is to use little bits of paper, cardboard, and maybe even tin foil to create some house-like embellishments. So let's see what you can do. Now, when creating your house, there's really no right or wrong way to embellish, but I wanted to show you some tips that I did. I just took a heavier piece of paper and taped it to the roof of my house to give it more of a crisp edge. Now here, I'm just taping briefly, but in the end, you will want to cover the entire thing with tape. See, just like that. The next thing I'm gonna do is use a little bit of tin foil to create details like an arch for my door. I'm just sculpting it into a little tin foil snake and then I will tape it onto my house. Again, you will need to cover the entire thing with tape. Consider other embellishments too. Once you have the details on your house that you like and it looks good all the way around because this will be a sculpture in the round, then the fun part begins. We will begin to apply paper mache, and when that dries, we will paint. So, good luck creating. <laughs> 